Hey guys, how have you been? So I have another video for you today. Um, this is a 1000 piece puzzle of Luffy, which I purchased um, a few months ago while I was in Tokyo. And um, I just want to put it together and show you the finished product. Now, I know this is a different video from what I'm used to, but I think for this particular um, type of video, voiceover is probably the best thing to do. So as you can see, um, the puzzle comes with, well, the puzzle and uh, a puzzle glue as well as a scraper and um, a piece of paper that I don't know exactly the purpose, but I believe it's um, for when you actually lose a piece, maybe you can contact them or at least that's what it seems like to me. Uh, now, for this particular video, um, it actually took me way, way too long and um, I try my best to do it, um, you know, like in a time-lapse kind of video because otherwise you'll be sitting here watching um, 100 hours or more worth of contents. So, um, this is not your typical puzzle piece, um, at least not in terms of, you know, like one main image because um, although ultimately it forms one image, but the puzzle is actually made from, um, I think, over 4,000 different um, screenshots of, um, of the anime, actually, and it's formed into one image. So putting this together was... Um, literally a pain in the ass because well there's just no way of knowing which piece goes with which and the chances of you picking up two pieces that's going to fit each other was slim at best i think it only happened like once or twice um that uh myself or one of my family member picked up two pieces and it happens to fit together um, I actually filmed this video over the course of um, about a week. It was literally a full-time job plus overtime for an entire week just to put this together. Um, and my family actually ended up coming to help me out from time to time because it was such a huge, huge job. It was just impossible to do it otherwise, I feel. Well, maybe not impossible, but... It was challenging and um, I can tell you my eyes was so tired from doing this puzzle because I almost have to resort to finding each pieces individually on um, on the cover of the box and then try placing it together one thing did help though is um, the orientation because each piece is made out of each individual screenshots from the anime at least you know which way is up and which way is down so that did help a little bit um, but uh, it was still a huge huge challenge so there's no way I can talk about this puzzle for the entire 17 and a half minutes so what can I tell you well the anime at the moment is I don't know what's going on because um, I stopped watching the anime about six, seven months ago. Um, you see, I like to binge. So with the anime, um, I stopped when, well, just before um, Whole Cake Island arc came out. So when Whole Cake Island arc finishes um, in the anime, I will binge the entire thing. But as for the manga, I follow it religiously weekly. And with the current chapter, oh my god, what is with that Imusama character? Oh, I get so excited each time a new One Piece chapter comes around. So um, back to the puzzle though. Uh, putting the side edges, the straight edges together was the easy part. Because um, I managed to find the straight edges quite easily. Um, there were a few pieces here and there that... Um, that I found literally towards the end but um, otherwise most of them were found quite easily and putting them together was quite easy because like I said before I could tell which way is up and which way is down because of the um, different screenshots in there which helps to identify the orientation so it was easy enough to you know 
push them to the left or the right or the top or the bottom. So that was easy. And the next thing I tried to do um, was Luffy's teeth. Um, simply because, well, it's the lightest part and it was one of the easier um, pieces to identify among the thousand pieces. Because it's virtually just white and light blue that I have to spot it out. And then when it comes to finding them on the box, it wasn't too hard. Well, you know, it's not that it wasn't too hard, but it was um, easier to narrow down the section that I should be looking at. And um, mm. quite quickly, the teeth came together. The other part that was easy, or I wouldn't call it easy, but, you know, like um, was doable was the hat, Luffy's straw hat, um, because, well, it's contain like a yellowish or orangey-ish over all. The hardest part was probably Luffy's hair because literally most of Luffy's hair was formed um, using screenshots from the Thriller Bark arc and that was challenging to say the least. It was really really hard to spot those pieces um, and to work out exactly where it sits in the hair but otherwise well it was just challenging simply because well it was straining on the eyes and um, you'll start to see very quickly that the pieces form quite um, quickly and um, when you get halfway through you feel quite an accomplishment because you're starting to form an actual image and not just four and a half thousand different screenshots. So what did I do on my holiday? Well, I took my sisters and um, one of my sister's boyfriend around Tokyo. Um, my sister, one of my sister and her boyfriend have already been to Tokyo previously. So um, it was, you know, like it wasn't difficult um, because, well, they got the gist of what Tokyo is going to be like. Um, they really enjoyed it. But for my little sister, it was her first time. So um, she was a little bit over energetic with everything. And going back to Akihabara and Shibuya was just, um, was just a pleasure, really. Because, well, I get to buy more anime-related stuff. And I added a few more items to my One Piece uh, bah, one piece, what the hell, sorry, it's late, guys, um, to my one piece, um, collection, so, um, I have a few more figurines, and, um, a few more puzzles, and posters to add to my collection, and, uh, I also got Zara's sword, which I, which I purchased from Shanghai, you know, my collection is growing, and I'm quite happy with that, um, the one very, very disappointed thing that happened on the trip has to be um, the Baratier. So I was really looking forward to going back to the, Parat um, the Baratier and taking my little sister there. But when I got there, it was just so disappointing to find out that the Baratier closed down the year prior. Well, it was about a year and a half prior in 2016. Late 2016 was when they closed down. So, yeah, I was really upset. And, um, well, yeah, it was just upsetting, really. Nothing much to say about that. It didn't ruin my trip, per se, because luckily I did visit it, um... The Baratier during my previous um, trip down there but I was upset nonetheless because that's the only one of its kind in the world and to have it shut down like that I was yeah I wasn't very happy and otherwise everything else was a lot of fun we had beautiful weather it was slightly on the cold side but it wasn't like unbearable cold it was just Chilly, more chilly than Melbourne is, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, I had fun nonetheless. I also went back to um, uh, Mitake, or 
Mitaki? I don't know. I forgot the suburb. Um, but the Ghibli Museum. So um, I went back to the Ghibli Museum and took my sisters and one of my sisters' boyfriend to the Ghibli Museum. It's actually their first time at the museum, which, um, which was nice because, well, I like showing people around and um, having it being their first time. It was just, it was just nice. The Ghibli Museum have this room, which is an exhi- like a yearly exhibition room. So if you go every year, you'll see um, everything different in there. And this time it was um, a showcase of food um, that was featured in the Ghibli's film. So that was r- quite fascinating. And we also get to watch um, one of a kind Ghibli, um, a Ghibli short film that they uh, animated just for the Ghibli Museum. And that was pretty awesome. So um, now I have seen two Ghibli films that no one else will get to see. Well, not not exactly no one else, but you get what I mean. So that was amazing. And um, of course, the little souvenir with the um, uh, with the little film strip. Um, so that was awesome. So now I have two, and it's a really nice. Um, like a collectible thing to have. And Venus. my cat jumped on. Venus. My puzzle piece. <laughs> I wanted to take this part out, but she's too cute Venus. to take out. Yeah, that's my cat. Hey, Her name on. is Venus. She's spoiled. Venus. And she's the fluffiest and softest <laughs> thing <Oy>. ever. <laughs> Venus. Now, don't mind the vacuum sound in the background are you comfortable are you comfortable venus i want you to get off now i spent too much time on this for you to ruin it hey you're tucking your you're tucking your paws away hey nah come on Yeah, so that happened and um, now actually I didn't film part of the putting together towards the end because well after literally four or five days of this I just got a little bit tired and I just wanted to get everything done. So there will be some bits and pieces missing of the putting it together. But having said that, let's go back to Tokyo. What else can I tell you? Oh, uh coming back from the Ghibli Museum we uh, stopped by this restaurant and we had the most amazing food ever and at such an affordable price it cost us about um, just under 10,000 yen which is about a hundred and something like a little bit over a hundred Australian dollars and we had yakitori we had um, oh forgot what it's called but it's basically a few different types of sashimi um there was chicken raw chicken um some fishes we also had the um the soup and the skewers and the atmosphere was amazing the service was on point i mean honestly this my little sister accidentally bumped her um chopsticks and the next second they came in with a replacement pair. It was like literally the awesomest service ever. And the food wasn't even expensive. It was just absolutely amazing. Something else we did that I didn't do last time um, it is um, we went to watch the sumo. And that was spectacular. If you've never seen sumo wrestling before, you have to do it. I highly, highly recommend it. Getting the ticket was challenging because we literally um, sat on our phone and tried to buy tickets as soon as it was open to the public to purchase. So um, yeah, but other than that, oh my god, what an experience. When we first arrived, 
um, there wasn't a lot of people, but as it got later and later and the um, tournament, you know, um, heading towards the bigger names in um, sumo wrestling, more and more spectators arrived and we were like cheering with the crowd and the locals was like cheering for their favorite um, sumo wrestlers. Takeshi is the one that I remember most because literally everyone was shouting, Takeshi, Takeshi, come by, come by. Uh, actually, I don't think it was come by. I don't know. Um, I forgot now. But um, it was basically saying, you know, like, um, kind of like equivalent to the fighting in Korean dramas. But yeah, it was, it was awesome. Oh, what an experience. Oh, okay. Well, um, as you can see, um, I didn't film quite a fair bit, but now that the puzzle is complete, um, I got around to uh, gluing them together. And just before it was complete, uh, we were looking for one piece which my dad sort of hid. And um, I did panic a little bit. I didn't want to show it on my face when my dad um, was you know, telling me, oh, one piece is missing. But I was panicking because I didn't want any piece to go missing. So by the time I finished this, it was literally 2 a.m. But I didn't want it to leave it. So I put glue on it straight away. And um, I framed it the following day. But as you can see, it's such an amazing um, piece. It's a thousand and it's actually quite large. Um, it's kind of like a giant war poster, A1 size. I forgot the exact dimension of this particular puzzle, but it was large. Um, I managed to find a frame that not quite the exact size it's slightly bigger but it fit well enough without having to um uh to get a frame custom made so yeah but oh, i love 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 this puzzle so so much and it wasn't even expensive um i think i paid about 30 no 3600 yen which is about um 50 Australian dollars um, maybe 32 or something like 32 to 35 American dollars um, depending on the exchange rate but um, such an amazing piece and there you have it the puzzle is complete so see you guys till next time